Good morning, it's Belinda and Matilda from My Style Journey. Good morning, today I'm going to entrust my makeup to Belinda. Because I'm the expert. <laughs> Let's get going. Yes. You have to take your glasses <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put a clip in Matilda's hair, just to clip it out the way. Sorry Matilda, now no, you look no. gorgeous. <laughs> I'm mixing two products together, so I'm mixing this product, this is Revlon Age Defying, and Matilda's tone is a little bit more yellow, so I'm going to try this just to mix with the other one, and just see how that works, this is the L'Oreal Infallible, I've decided to just use the Revlon. So I think that that will work for her. And we can always warm it up. I have washed this brush. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> if um, it's a little bit too cool, we can warm it up with bronzer. If we make it too dark, there's nothing that you can do to make it lighter. Oh, it's actually quite a nice color match. So we are not experts in makeup. I think I've <laughs> shared on this channel before that I had my make over done when I was about 47, 48. My sister was leaving for New Zealand and I wanted to do something for her and my mom and I. So we did makeup and a photo shoot. And I looked so much better than I normally look that I made a decision that I'm going to do my makeup every day. And from that day onwards started a journey where I would Google YouTube videos and mature women and I started following people like Angie Hot and Flashy and I think there was another Miss Gold Girl, I followed some of her tutorials and I love Anne P Makeup and More and I just used to copy some of the looks and get ideas from their techniques. I couldn't copy their looks exactly because some of the products we didn't get here and I wasn't about to go and buy a shed load of pro products just to do my own makeup. So I put it down here just in case the color match isn't great. You don't want your neck to look totally different to your face. Do you want to have a look? I'm not finished covering your spots. So, but just look at the color match. How do you, what do you think? Yes, it's, it's great. Yeah, even at almost 48 you get uh, pimples. <laughs> yeah, breakouts because of hormones. Yeah. In fact, okay, so let me just show you what I'm using. I'm using um, a product by Unique and it's called Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. I don't know where you get this. You don't get this at all in South Africa. I don't think you can just buy this off the shelf. But my husband's cousin lives in Milton Keynes and she got this for me. She was selling these products and she sent this for me. Color matched me from a photo. And it's actually worked well because it's quite a neutral color. Matilda has, I've actually covered it quite a bit already. She has quite a dark spot over here. It's a birthmark. No, I got that while I was pregnant with my second child. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that was so weird. You'd get those blemishes from pregnancy. Yes. It's one of those. Chloras. And it never went away. Okay, so you, it's quite dark, so you're not going to get it mm -hmm. totally away. But we're definitely going to lighten it by adding this. And then I'm just going to add little dots of this here and there where you've got little blemishes. Matilda's got a stunning skin. She hardly has any wrinkles. Until I smile. Until she smiles, but that's good. We all need smile lines. Yes. I always say to people, if you don't have smile lines, you need to smile. So I'm just doing this with my finger. And I'm blending around the blemishes as well. Just to sort of get an even tone. I am going to set Matilda's makeup with some powder. I don't always do that with my own because my skin is quite dry. I opened up a brand new sponge for Matilda and I'm going to use this flat side to um, apply the powder to her face 
and I'm going to use this side to apply it under her eyes. Open your eyes for me. I'm just going to set it under the eyes. I just did slightly, not anything too hectic, but you haven't got really lines there, so you're lucky. So what do you call that sponge? This is just a blending sponge, makeup blender. It's not any specific name. This is by Palladio. The makeup is Palladio. But you need to just get it even. So I'm going to take a little brush after this and just even it out. When I do it with a sponge, it just feels like I'm getting it into all the little nooks and crannies. And I'm going to just give it a light dusting with a loose powder because this feels to me like it's not going on as nice. So I'm just going to take a little brush like this and I'm going to um, take the setting powder and pour some of it into the lid. And this is just a Yardley loose powder. Nothing fantastic. Dust off the excess and then literally just set Matilda's makeup. The next thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of contouring and I use this brush. So it's a flat, thick bristled brush. This is my Inglot palette and I'm just going to go into this color in the top corner. It's a nice warm tone. I'm just going to carve out here by your cheek, but just from the top of the ear, sort of halfway. Don't want to do too much. Okay. It needs to look natural. We're doing natural makeup. We're not doing, we're not performing on stage. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> And then what I like to do is I just take a fluffy brush and then just blend that a little bit upwards. So there's not a very sharp demarcation. And then we're going to do some blusher. And I think I'm also going to take sort of a small brush, small angled fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into this color on my palette. So I'm not going to do too much. The key with us as we get older is not to bring it, not to bring the color too far down, to keep the color up because we want to lift our faces. When we were younger, we could just put blush on our little apples of our cheeks. Okay. But now we use it almost like a bronzer. I haven't put bronzer on you today because the color is quite dark already. I don't want to make you too dark. Look at the camera. <laughs> Can you, you can't no, see No, I have to look here. Can you see? Oh yes, it looks wonderful. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. I'm going to remember everything. I'm going to watch it over, over and over again. until I get it. <laughs> I'm going to use the highlighter from this kit, but I don't apply it with a brush. I like to use my fingers because if you feel, feel the powder. Okay, yeah. Soft. Yes. So it's quite pigmented. You can just see it on my finger. And all I'm going to do is just, you don't have a lot of lines here, so you don't really have to worry about lines. But you want to get it, and it's not too far forward on your cheeks because that's not a look that anybody wants. It's just got to give the top of your cheekbone a little bit of highlight. And I'm going to add it going upwards, but also not all the way to your hairline. So just literally on the bone. Can you feel mm -hmm. where I'm doing it? Just have a look at that. See, it's very natural and you don't see too much of a sheen. Can you see it? Mm. Even? Yes. Can yes. you see it? Yes, if I look here. So it's not too much. Not too much, but I, because I know my face, I can see now yeah. the difference. And that just gives you a little bit of a glow. Very natural I glow. Like glow. <laughs> so I'm going to do your eyebrows. Now this is going to be quite a challenge for you because this eyebrow, you'll see, is very weird. The hair growing the wrong In the direction. right direction. Mm. 
Um, probably going to be a challenge for me, but my eyebrows are already a challenge. So you are going to just ace it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to try not to touch your face or lean on your face too much. I've taken a lighter color because you don't want your brows to be too dark. Matilda's brows are not as dark as her hair. She colors her hair. So her brows are not as dark as her hair and I don't want to make them look too unnatural. So I'm just taking, I haven't got a brow product that I can draw the brows in. So I'm literally just, I'm actually going to go a little bit darker because that's not doing anything. And brows really help to frame the face. Without brows, our eyes almost look non-existent. So I'm not going to make them thicker, I'm not going to Instagram them. They're not Instagram brows. They are just little... And, and you don't have much brows. Mm -mm. But you'll see how just doing this gives you a little bit of definition and will frame your eye. I once went to a like a style guru's thing, like a a workshop. A workshop, yes, thanks. I went to a workshop and I asked him, he asked, if, is there any problem area you would like him to tell you what to do, give you some advice? So I asked him about my brow and he said, no, shave it off. And I'm like, what? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, well, that's what they used to do. I remember in when I was studying, <laughs> one of my psychology... Um, Lecturers. Her name was Miss Paul. I'll never forget her. She was such a lady and she had this long face and she had these Brows that were up here somewhere and they were pencil thin <laughs> and they were definitely drawn on And I just I, I, that's what I remember about her. She was very sweet. She was a lovely lady, but I remember those brows and thinking even in the 80s, that couldn't have been good. <laughs> and in the 80s, we did have... Well, we went from very bushy brows to very minimal brows in the 80s. Because right in the beginning, I mean, Brooke Shields, mm. but she was late 70s more, hey? She had these very, very in-your-face brows. Anyway, I'm going to put... Um, I should have done this a little bit earlier, but I'm going to put the eyelid primer. It says Eye Prep Lid Primer. I'm going to put that on from, for Matilda just to make sure that the makeup doesn't go everywhere. So this you put on your lids. I'm just going to use my finger. But all it does is it lets your eye makeup stick. So it won't go in the folds or anything. It's not supposed to, but I must be honest, this is the only eyelid primer I have, and this is the first one I've ever bought, because I've never ever used it before, but all the ladies that I follow say you must use this. This is critical in this step, especially as we get older. So I'm going to take a light colour, and then I'm going to use, again I'm going to use this Stila palette, so I'm going to go for this colour, it's the lightest eyeshadow color. I'm just taking this brush which is a fluffy sort of flat brush. It's going to give you a little bit of a lift and I'm just really packing it in. Packing it on, sorry, not packing it in. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use this for the transitional or crease shade. I'm going to take this shade which is a Kind of a taupey stone shade. And close your eyes. And Matilda's got smaller eyelids than me, but she has no creases. So I'm doing a windshield wiper motion, which I can't really do on mine without letting all the folds go everywhere. We're just doing a day look. We're not going for anything um, too dramatic. Matilda doesn't wear a lot of makeup. No. I usually don't. And then I'm going to go for a shimmery shade at the bottom. So I'm going to use this pinky shade at the bottom on her bottom lid. How does it look? Oh, I love it. Do you? Yes, right. really. <laughs> 
pneumatic. And this is just really, I'm just lining the bottom lid. Just to give you a little bit of a lift on your lid. And I'm using a thin pointed brush so that it's quite precise. You could probably use your finger for this. If you have a nice thin finger, I've got a fat finger. It works on my, my larger lid, but I don't think it's going to work here. I'm going to get it everywhere. So you need to be quite precise with this so that it doesn't go onto the top lid. It must stay on your mobile lid. As we get older, although this hardly applies to you, Matilda, the more shimmer we have on our lids, the more creases we see. Actually, I should just stay matte. No, no. Do a little bit of shimmer on the bottom lid. It looks lovely. You'll When you've got your glasses on and you can see properly, or if you no, look in there, it really looks pretty. Mm. So I'm going to take another... I'm actually using the highlighter in this kit. This one that I've hit pan on. actually need to replace it. There's just so little product left. And I'm going to use this with a little angled brush. I don't need an angled brush. It could be any soft little brush. I'm just using this because it's a clean, nice clean brush. And I'm just going to place it under your brow. It gives lift to the eyebrow. It creates the illusion of lift. Nothing that we're doing is over the top or wow. Everything is subtle and soft. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to blend this a little bit. This is not a blending brush by all means, by any means. But I want you to have a look at that and see. Okay, do you see what I mean? Mm, it slight, slight gives a lift. Oh. lift. I think especially for this brow that's not as rounded as it makes a difference now. They yeah. look more balanced. They do mm. look balanced. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, a little bit angled, not too heavily bristled. And I'm going to go into the lid color. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit darker than the lid color because the lid color was very, very light. So open your eyes for me. I'm just going to place it on your lower lid. So from the corner. And I'm not going to go all the way in and I'm not going to go on your waterline. It's just below your waterline. And this just creates a little shadow under your eye. And I'm only doing it halfway. Have a look into the camera. Can you see? I'll have to look here. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, very subtle. Subtle but pretty, mm -hmm. very pretty. But I love subtle. They must be subtle. Mm. It mustn't be wow in your face too much. I'm gonna add a tiny little pop at the end of your eyes. I wasn't going to do that, but I think I'm going to because your eyes are quite small. But I'm just going to do it very, very lightly. Close your eyes. And literally just make a shadow at the end. Should have done this earlier. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think it's going to give a little bit of definition. Just to add a little bit of interest, and I think you're going to see a big difference to your eye. Look in the mirror. Yes, it makes a big difference. Major mm. difference, and it's mm. such a tiny little step. Yes. Subtle, subtle difference, but it makes, I think it makes a big difference. All I'm going to do is just blend that softly, because I don't want most of it to go away. Now for the mascara. Got a very thin wand. Let me just show the camera what we're using. I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic. I like this because the wand is very thin and I like doing this on other people because there's more precision. If you look down but straight, if you look more straight. Oh. So telescopic meaning longer. So it's going to look, give you the illusion of longer lashes. You can do the top as well. Okay, 
Okay, now for lipstick. I'm going to use a very neutral shade of lipstick. I did a very similar look. You can look at the camera. I did a very similar look to this on myself because it's an everyday, easy, mm. easy to wear look. And I think I used the same palette and I'm also using the same lip liner. So Matilda's got ample lips least at the bottom. Hmm. I like to make the color come in quite a bit so that you don't have this demarcated line when you put your lipstick on. No, I don't have a cupid's bow. So you've got to create one. Mm. Yeah, I've seen that now. <laughs> And then I'm going to use a very neutral shade. This is Tantalizing Taupe. Tantalizing Taupe from Maybelline in the shade 725. Very neutral. And I think it's going to be perfect for Matilda. Well, my lips um, color easily go too bright so I will, yeah uh, we'll have a look oh it's pretty it's beautiful wow so that is the finished look what do you think Matilda well I love it well I really love the natural look I think it looks well nicely finished for a day look your cheeks are not as subtle as I initially thought they were but you look beautiful it looks stunning. Thank you. I like it as well. How do you feel? I feel made up and ready for the day. Yeah, my family won't know me. <laughs> Thank you for watching my style journey. It was great having you. See you next time.